all right guys so it is gonna be our very first 2024 update so happy new year glad you guys can join me now as far as what's going on in my uh, food forest for this update guys we are expecting our very first cold front or they're they're referring to it as um arctic blast but it, i don't think it's gonna be that bad guys it's gonna be probably around mid 30s the weatherman is saying it's gonna be in the 38s for tonight so this is what we have been prepping for guys i'm gonna put like a little tarp on top of this just for tonight guys i just don't want to risk it and uh, it might end up being somewhere if it start hitting like 32 i'm gonna be in big trouble but let's hope it doesn't hit 32 um i'm hoping that it's just gonna be in around you know maybe the mid 30s so that is what is going on for the new year guys it's uh it's been very strange winter wise i think this is like the warmest winter that i have experienced so far temperature hasn't even dropped you know below 45 for most of the nights so everything is still super green you're not going to usually see this type of um, winter guys here in central Florida especially so very unusual winter and even when you're looking at the future prediction for the temperature I'm seeing like once we get into February we're still gonna be like in the high 50s so very strange winter indeed guys I brought a little Asian pear here the Korean pear because I want to show and compare my harvest guys that I'm gonna do today for you guys and do a little comparison for you guys so right here is my uh, dwarf Nechisaki Asian pear. I want you guys to do a little comparison right there. You guys are probably chuckling and laughing at me right now, right? <laughs> Let me see if I can harvest these two. Now just keep in mind guys that this is um, my first harvest the very first time that they actually fruited for me so as far as size comparison of course they're nothing compared to the store-bought guys it's nothing compared to the store-bought obviously there's a little more better comparison for you guys but as far as taste and texture it's basically the same it's exactly the same guys it's exactly the same yep so I will be eating some of these later on along with the store-bought guys just want to give you guys a little update on this moving on to the avocados guys this is the brockton that i have right over here and look at that i think this is um flowering now i think that is flower guys so very eager and excited hoping this one will flower finally flower for me But yeah guys, um, this is uh, year number three, guys, year number three for my food forest since I've started. So I'm actually thinking of saving some trees and I have to get rid of some trees. And today is going to be that day, guys, to make uh, my decision whether I want to remove certain trees 
or I want to keep certain trees. These three mulberries right here, they are actually going to be removed, guys. These guys will definitely be on my list to be removed for the year for this year 2024. Um, and it has nothing to do with the taste or the quality of the fruit, guys, or the berry. It actually has to do with the quantity. I mean, let me go back here and give you guys a better look at it. It's a pretty tall looking tree, right? But for the size of this tree, guys, it only produces every year. This is year number three already. I've already got two harvests from this tree already. And every year it only produces about like a handful, like a small handful of berries for me. So as far as productivity, it's, it's definitely not something that I would want to keep, to be honest with you guys. So that's something that, you know, you guys might want to consider before getting a um, mulberry. They are super good. They are basically the, um, it tastes exactly like a blackberry, guys. It tastes exactly like a blackberry, but it's much more sweeter. It's a lot more sweeter. It's like a superior blackberry, if you want to describe it like that. It's just as far as productivity, quantity wise, mm, it's not worth keeping guys. It's definitely not worth keeping. So that's the white mulberry I'm gonna have to remove. Everbearing mulberry I'm gonna have to remove. Pakistan mulberry that I'm gonna have to remove as well. So was it a loss investment? Yeah, it was guys, but I would much rather remove it because they can get up to be like around this size right here, an oak tree, and they're barely going to be pr producing fruit for me. So I might as well just get rid of them now while they're still young and small. Well, let me see if I can go over here. Show you guys some of the stuff over here. Yeah, all of the trees. I've already moved some of the trees into the garage, guys, in preparation for tonight. It's gonna drop down to 38, mid 30s, so those are the ones that, that are like really sensitive right there. Um, other than that, the lights are gonna be going on tonight, guys. These incandescent string lights, they're definitely gonna be going on tonight. Keep them uh, these trees a little bit warmer but as far as everything else this winter has just been super duper good to me it's super warm nothing has died yet so we are in a good start guys in a super good start for the new year this is my carambola guys and we're going to finally get to do a little taste testing for this guy right here. Let me see if I can actually get in on the screen here and show you guys the size of this tree. Got my little knife. Let's see, is it? I wonder if we can get pick this one up. Yeah, so it's a pretty tall tree, guys. Um, and I'm gonna keep it this size right here. But uh, this is what we're looking at right today. This is my very first carambola, guys. And we're gonna do the taste test on this, this one today, guys. Let's see if I can get. There we go. My very first star fruit for the year. I can't smell anything. There's no smell to it. But let's see if I can get rid of these. Now with star fruit guys, usually there's a lot of um, oxalate around these little ridges right here. 
So if you want to remove some of those oxalate taste, just get rid of the ridges. And what is left? Let's see if we can get a little taste for this, guys. Move some of the seeds. Here we have it. Guys. It still has a little green on the top there but it is sweet giving myself a pat in the back there this one is definitely a keeper right now my very first carambola and it is tasting phenomenally good like I said though guys once you get to these little ridges, if you don't remove them, there tends to be that oxalated taste. So if you want to truly enjoy the carambola, just remove the ridges. That oxalate taste. Some people actually really like those oxalated tastes. My granddaddy is one of them. He loves eating like this thing raw and complete. For me though, I usually don't oxalate a taste, so I have to remove those little ridges. But once you remove those little ridges, man, it is phenomenally good. Now as far as the variety, which variety is this? I, I honestly don't know guys. I lost the tag, but my best bet, this has to be a carry. It's actually a little bit more sweeter than a, than a regular carry. But my best bet is probably around somewhere around a carry. The variety that, that is. It's probably like a carry. Definitely a keeper though. So here it is guys. One last look at my awesome star fruit gonna wait for this one to ripen up a little bit more freshly cut guys off the tree I want to finish that one later after I'm done with this video this is freaking awesome though guys fresh carambola homegrown right in my backyard guys I planted some um, tamarillo right here in the ground guys this time just to test it out see if it can survive the winter there's one here's another one and uh, here is my little Elama in the Anonaceae family. I hope it survives the winter, guys. Pray for me. I'm actually gonna put some more covering on this for this guy for tonight, but I hope he makes it out. And then over here, we have our Achacha with incandescent string light as well to keep it warm for tonight best of luck buddy I hope you make it out yeah, and there's more papaya guys I don't know how if this uh, if they're gonna survive this tonight or not more papaya, more papaya. Lots of papaya. All right, guys.
guys here is my second fruit that we're gonna try for today this is known as the honey murkot guys um, this is gonna be my very first time testing it out and we're gonna decide to see if this one's gonna be a keeper or we're gonna have to uproot it depending on the taste test that we're gonna do today guys so here we go now as far as the fruiting cycle guys for this this guy right over here let me see yeah as far as the fruiting cycle um, this one actually flower around March yeah March is when it's a flower March of 2023 guys today is already January 20, 20th 2024 that's like 10 months guys from flowering to fruiting so still kind of green so I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of sourness to this but we might as well just give it a shot right try it out here we go guys now as, as far as peeling wise it's actually very easy to peel even when it's super green like this it's actually very easy to peel and uh, wow the color inside is actually a little bit pinkish guys pinkish let's see how this will end up tasting like It's not sour it's actually very bland there's no sweetness to it um, there's a very little sweetness on there but on a scale of 10 I would probably give it like a two or a three sweetness level so I'm, I'm assuming that this is not ready look at how green it is so we still have plenty more guys plenty more to try it out so I'll wait for a little bit more longer just to see if this will sweeten up. But for right now, at this stage, I would say that it's, an, it's not so good. There's no sweetness level in here at all. Probably like two or three. So I'll update you guys later on about this one. We're gonna have to put this one on hold and uh, decide later on. But for now, I don't know if it's truly good or, or not yet because it's still kind of green. And guys, this one, as far as this one right here, this one is known as the white sapote. I grafted some new variety on here, guys. This one is known as the... Young Huns. Young Huns variety. Now this one is a Florida variety. So I'm hoping that it will do really well. It's grafted onto a Subel, which is a California variety. And the great thing about the Subel, if you look down here, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? These tiny little guys right there. That is my very first fruitlet, guys, for the Subel.
I have never eaten this fruit before. I have never eaten this one before, so. We're gonna wait, and hopefully the fruit will hold on to it so that we can finally get to try this. Um, as far as the banana goes, I am actually still waiting, guys. I hope the freeze for this coming up uh, tonight, for tonight, it's not gonna damage any of my bananas, guys, because these guys are about to be ready for harvest. These are actually the dwarf Thai banana variety, guys. So they're not gonna get, they'll probably get like a little bit more bigger and then I, I can start finally harvesting them. But they're not like the regular banana that you usually see at the supermarket though. Not the Cavendish type. This is the smaller variety. I actually prefer these one better because they taste a lot more more like a regular banana, like a wild banana. So I love these one right here. Even though they're a lot more smaller than the Cavendish that you usually get at the supermarket. So that's one banana. This one's um, the, the same one, the same variety. It's a Thai dwarf. And then this huge one right over here. That big old thing guy, right there, guys. It is a huge banana. This one is known as the um, blue Java, guys. That one is the blue Java. I have never eaten this one before. So I'm really excited. I hope the cold tonight doesn't really mess up anything. But I honestly can't cover it because, I mean, it's just way too big for me to cover it. Hmm. Look at that. Chicken of the tree, guys. I'm going to catch them later. <laughs> just kidding, guys. All right, guys. Um, that is all about that I have. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed a little update. Till next time, Happy New Year, guys.